Well, hi, and welcome to Jim's Radio Shop. And we're comparing for the second time the Satellite 800 Millennium and the Sony Shortwave 77. In my last comparison video, I had rather disappointing results with the uh, Sony's uh, SW77. Um, really didn't stand up to comparison with the Satellite 800 or my R390A up here. Or the PCR 1000, which you can't see, it's behind the, uh, the camera. So part of that was probably because all the good radios, or the radios that were working well, were sharing an external antenna, which is outdoors. And the poor Sony was just working off of its whip antenna. Okay, since then I have connected the uh, Sony, so it's also connected to the same outdoor antenna as the Satellite 800. In fact, it's even the same cable lead. Uh, so the signals reaching these two radios should be identical in terms of strength. I picked a fairly weak station to uh, try out. The frequency is 9760 uh, kilohertz. And the first radio we're going to listen to is the Satellite 800. So here it is. Okay, that's hitting about seven, six, and seven on the S meter. This is the R three ninety A. Back to the satellite. Now there's, there's a certain amount of audio difference here because we're listening to the satellite through its own speaker, uh, which is pretty good, but we're listening to the R390A uh, through my sound system. And likewise, the SW77 is going to be played through the same sound system as the R390A. I have some mixer controls here that I can switch from one radio to, to the other. But the satellite's on its own speaker. Back to the R390. Now the R390 is running at 4 kilohertz bandwidth and the satellite's running at 6. So I'll switch the satellite to 4. Well, compared to the R390. And now the short wave suddenly set. That's back to the satellite. And now to the R three ninety eight. Yeah, 
and back to the short wave, so that makes it happen. Okay, so that was a comparison of a, of a fairly weak signal in the level where you should be able to listen to it, but it would be straining a bit. So we'll pick a stronger signal now, and I'm just using my PCR to do that. Therefore, the traditional option which enables buyer to see the items in person cannot be replaced. Okay, we're going to try 9580. So first we'll do that with the uh, Grendig satellite. Head of online auction market has been active since 2000 when the first professional online auction platform was established. Over a decade has passed and the market has not yet become very popular. Although some big deals have been made on online auction platforms, the major players in this market are still middle and low end items. Okay, now we'll do the R390A. Keep place at the same time as the online data. This may include the more appropriate form of the artwork option. And I can open the ninety five or the R three ninety eight eight kilohertz bandwidth. The top Chinese officials are suggesting the risk element of local government funding their force is well under control. Shen Chenin, ahead of China's Banking Regulatory Commission, made the comments in a recent Back to the satellite. So the risk of exposure of local to local government is small, because no change a long term or can change for the expected population. Back to the R390. The possibility of default sourcing lending to local government. And now we'll tune the shortwave 77 to 9580. <laughs> Back to the satellite. The heart of local government. It's the six of its time this year. The bonds will become tradable and digital means. The six local governments include Heilongjiang province. And now the R390. Province, Hanshi Jiang autonomous region, Tibet autonomous region, and Qingdao province. China schedule to sell local government bonds worth a combined total of 350 billion yuan. Okay, an interesting thing about these radios is their S meters all work completely differently. The satellite, the S meter seldom climbs above nine. Uh, this was getting up about nine and a half. That's a very, very strong signal. My PCR says that this is uh, up to 60 decibels over S9. The R390A says it's up to 60, 70, that's 70 decibels above 1 microvolt. I believe that's how that meter works. But the strangest guy is this guy, the Sony. It has an S meter goes well from one to ten. It, it says signal meter. It doesn't say S meter, and it's just pinned at ten. Uh, it, it seems to be showing very high signal strength on weaker signals. Um, it really should show lower. So. so that's that. Let's hear. Let's hear the. Uh, Shortwave 77, SW77. 
And I'm just going to switch back and forth with the 390 quickly. And now I'll switch the R390 and the satellite quickly, starting with the R390. The world is constantly Watch my finger. debating our bringing you comprehensive news and information from both China and the rest of the world. We help you through the day with a mix of news, sports, and entertainment. Analyzing in depth the various big stories, as well as the closing numbers from the global market. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good comparison. In for me, sitting here listening to this uh, with my own ears rather than watching it on a YouTube video, uh, it's very clear that the R390 produces a easier to listen to and understand uh, audio. Um, the satellite is right, right there, close to it, but I would prefer the R390A. Uh, the shortwave 77 is just not doing so well. It's really, really not pleasant to listen to, even though I'm feeding it through a very high quality audio system. It's rather disappointing, in fact. So, uh, maybe one last thing I'll do is I'll open the R390A right up to 16 uh, kilohertz bandwidth. In this case, be more likely to be an intentional move. <laughs> We still have been in life for more than 20 years. Now I'm more than 40 years old. Abandon me. How can I make the best of my life? So I think that's pretty conclusive. The R398, uh, by uh, opening up the bandwidth, produces a really nice quality signal. This is a pretty strong, I believe it's the BBC, that's pretty strong. Um, the SW77 is not going to come anywhere near to it, I'm afraid. That's, that's how it seems to me. So thanks for listening to this one. I think this was a pretty fair test. And uh, R390A. Pretty good radio. Too bad it weighs 75 pounds. Thanks a lot for watching.